Hold on. Right. <laughs> Finally, it is recording. Uh, da, 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 da. So, uh, El, you play guitar too? Yeah. Oh, so, like, are you, like, is Roman teaching you or? Um, no, I wanted to do his lessons online, but I didn't really have the extra cash, so I didn't. Uh. Uh, so, hopefully, he does. He continues it after, like, they go on porn and stuff like that, but... Yeah. Um, he said, um, to me, uh, I don't know if he wants to be saying this, but, like, he's gonna select, a, like, a, a certain few to, uh, you know, keep. And I don't know if he's gonna be doing well. I don't think, yeah, he won't be doing it on tour, I don't think, because he won't have time. But, anyways, he's selected me and a few others to keep and to continue teaching. For the time being. Yeah, I mean, I, w I would love to learn from him, but like, um, I know the basics and I know a lot of Wednesday songs. Uh, just, I would love for him to teach me solos and stuff like that. Yeah. So, like, for people that are like learning like the basics and everything like that, I, I understand. So I'm not gonna like. Yeah. Hold that again. And Mr. Gates was doing a guitar school thing yeah. as well. Yeah. So like, Who knows? I've been playing guitar for like 14 years, but like, I'm not super good at it. I'm just, you know, dabble. Yeah. I understand, you know, for people that he wants to keep for his lessons, that, I mean, that, that's super cool. I, would, I think it's really super cool. I love Roman very much. Yeah. I would love nothing more than for him to teach me certain things, but like I said, I just didn't have the cash to do it. Yeah. It's such a cool day. If he does it again in the future, I would absolutely love to take again. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully he does. I'm going to lose a... Uh, oh, go on. If he's listening to this, Roman, teach me shit. Te yeah, okay. Teach me senpai! <laughs> yeah, Diad, teach, teach Alan how to play guitar, Diad. I'll, I'll get mom, I'll get mom teach after you. Yeah, well, my girlfriend made the joke that, you know, she goes, oh, well, you know, you're going to long run a Zoom with Roman, and he's going to see your face, and he's going to say, oh, this guy, yeah. <laughs> It's my Disney princess psycho fan. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm the Disney <laughs> princess of psycho fan. He called me that one time. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love the guy. I don't know what else to say. I love I love Wednesday 13. I love the whole band. I love Roman. He's a guitar god. I called him a guitar god once, and he's like, no, I'm not that good. I was really? like, no, the fucking god. Like, I love watching him perform, I really do. Yeah. I was gonna say that here, like, so I'm one of those, I don't know how many what the percent is, but I'm one of those people who can, like, not, like, like, not practice, and then all of a sudden pick it up and just start playing as if I was practicing. I mean, I'm not an expert, you know, I'm not a guitar god or anything, but I can play it well enough that you can, you know, like, with the last, um, uh, lesson. I had a eat. Uh, I had not the okay, not the le lesson before that. Uh, he showed me w w like the G chord and the uh, E and in the E chord, and I didn't practice it at all. And then last Tuesday, I picked up the guitar up and, and just started playing G chord and all that. But yeah. Sounds like to me, it sounds like you're. Uh... Um, yeah. yeah. I don't I don't know. Not many people out there that can that can say, Hey, I haven't touched a guitar in however long and then just pick it up and start playing yeah. like like you haven't practiced at all. But I mean that's pretty cool. One chord I hate, I really hate uh you know time is the F chord. Yeah, I think I know why they call it the F chord. Yeah. Exactly. F U chord. Every 
every time I tried uh, playing the F chord, it's um the strings would like quote unquote bite my finger to sting. Yeah. Well, you get used to it. The yeah, yeah. I mean, you will. The fingers form calluses. I was about to say that you get calluses and you get used to it, but it's just the whole thing. It stings like you're getting like a paper cut or something. Yeah. Little bit of a little bit of a uh, metaphorical learning curve, but it hurts physically. So uh, eventually, trust me, eventually you'll get used to it and it won't hurt anymore. And I it's haven't. It's like when you're learning Guitar Hero. And you're going from medium to expert, and yeah. you've just got to learn that finger stretch to get that orange button. But once you hit it and you get used to it, then that's it. Yeah, but the button, I mean, you're not talking about uh, metal strings or whatever that cut into your fingers. True, but you know, you do get cramps. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, cramps. I haven't played my bass in a while since my band broke up. And uh, uh -huh. I got into the Rocksmith Plus closed beta, so I started playing my bass on that, and like, my, my fingers hurt like hell, and like, damn, it hasn't really been this long since I played, you know? You, you know, you, you take, what? You take okay. time off, and then you kind of lose your calluses. You know? Trust me, oh. yeah. Imagine... Somebody of your caliber plays if you, if you if you played regularly in practice, like you could you could be. Oh yeah, yeah. And Roman has said that said that if you know, imagine what I could do if I practice. Yeah. And yeah, I probably could. I I wouldn't ever say I would ever be like a guitar god, but I'd probably be pretty pretty decent. I mean, um, he's told me, and I don't know if he's being or just being nice or not, but he's told me before that. I have, like, learned things faster than what he was able to learn. Everybody's different. Yeah, know? yeah. It comes down to the short-term, long-term memory, just... What some, is that sound? Some people could just pick things up, like, instantly. Like, somebody like me, I... It, it takes a long time. And it, it sounds like you have the skill, you have the talent. You know, you, yeah. you, learn, you, you learn something one time, boom got it. It's all about music theory too and, and uh, you know, learning where to go with your, your chords and everything like that. So, it, it, learning a song is one thing that somebody else wrote. Creating your own song is something totally different. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's a skill I don't have. I, I don't like, I, I understand music theory, but I don't know how to create my own song per se. But like, Somebody teaches me how to play a song, or if I hear a song, yeah. or learn the tabs of another one that they're teaching song, or whatever, you know, I can play it, but I can't necessarily create my own music. Yeah, that's one thing. Like, I, I, I don't. Both things I never. I kind of at one point, Roman and I were, were writing my own. We were writing my own song, but he kind of started it out. Thing is, I like I don't have enough. Um, I don't know, believe in myself when writing a song to me. I'll, I'll play something and I'm like, ah, that, that, that sounds like shit. I, I don't like that. That's not, that's not good. Yeah, you so. need some more confidence. Yeah, that's what, I'm look, that's what we're looking for. Confidence. I think it's, but, like, the type of music, I guess, I would like to play um, is similar to, uh, oh, hey there. Uh, Sagat, I guess, the like horror rap, not, not want rap, but like the weird digital sounds he uses, I don't know how to say that, but uh, let's see here, it should, hey there, imp. Well, when it, when it comes to custom sounds or, you know, your own chords, it's, Oh, oh hey there's the Baron. Hey, you. Hey, how's it going? Get the hell out of here, hell. Get the hell out of my hell. Fuck you, Baron. Oh, I'm gonna try getting the fight. Come here, come here, come here. That's it, that's it. He imp, come on, hit him, hit him. Oh, fuck. Okay, fine. I got Chicago gone. There we go. They're in fighting. 
That was are, useless. I should have asked, are we allowed to curse? Oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> are you allowed to curse? Have you, t oh, no, 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 you have are to change the channel. Are you gonna bleep it out? Oh, no. Uh, you, you swear all you want. Actually, I thought about one point of making a, uh, compilation video every time I, I yelled out Suka Blatt. I swear a lot in Russian, so. Awesome. All right. Get out of here, horse fucker. <laughs> Get out of here, fuck nugget. Yeah, when I'm uh, playing Doom Eternal, and you, you know, shove the grenade in the... Oh, fuck, I... You know what? I wasn't, I wasn't well versed in Doom like I was in, in Duke Nukem, but... Uh, the floating head fuckers who shove a grenade in their oh, mouth. Like, oh, the candle shit. demon. You know what? I was really disappointed with Doom Eternal. Like, it just didn't feel the same. I was wanting it to feel the same way as Doom, and it really didn't. It felt more like you're walking into a, like an area, and then there's a wave of enemies, and then you move on to the next area, and there's a wave of enemies. Whereas the other Doom was kind of like a little bit more streamlined, and it had like more of a story to it. I don't know. The Doom Eternal just didn't feel great to me. That's how like Doom 2016 felt to me. You walk into a room, you, there's a bunch of enemies, you gotta fight them, and you can't progress yeah. until all enemies are defeated. Punch them, you kill them, you move on. Yeah. And that's... I mean, I, I like oh, I Doom 2016. Think, you know, a little bit of a sense of progression and customization. Yeah. But, yeah, it felt... It, it, it was basically Doom 2016 with... A little bit of flair. Like, I like Doom 2016, but I prefer the classic Doom more, um, just because, you know, there's all those clinical challenges, like, if you wanted to, you know, to, uh, play Doom without defeating any of the demons, you know, the pacifist run, you can do so, or, you know, there's all these different challenges you can do. With Doom 2016, you don't have that choice. Plus, there's infighting. Noom, um, Eternal, and that, they don't have infighting. So, let me ask you a question. Where do you think in the timeline Doom 3 fits? I don't really know. Um, I, actually, Doom 3 was actually the first Doom game I ever played, and I don't know if I'm just bad at it or my game copy is glitched, but I could not progress. But anyways, uh... I kind of view the games as like an order, so like there's Doom 1, 2, and I guess 3 comes after 1, I mean 2, and then, I don't know, that's how I, how I view them, but. See, I, I always thought of Doom 3 as a, as a reboot, and Doom 64 was technically a sequel to Doom 2, but like, I always tried to find a place for Doom 3 to fit. Even though it was like a, like a reboot slash soft reboot, like yeah, you're on Mars and the, and the the demons start coming after you. At the same time, it's like it's, it's its own separate universe, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm not really sure where it fits, but they never said it wasn't canon. Well, I think isn't like 2016 and Eternal are in the same universe as the original, but isn't aren't they like a reboot? Yeah, there's there's post and they're supposed to be set in the same universe but it seems like Doom 3 is the only Doom game that doesn't have a designated place in the timeline and you can't count Final Doom because that's fan made so oh well, I mean isn't Final Doom a uh, TNT evolution and the Plutonia experiment technically yeah but it's also I mean, yeah, it, it is fan made, but then again, it's also endorsed or whatever by uh, yeah. Bethesda. I mean, I, I mean, it's it's unofficial Doom uh, discs and all that. But I, I know what you mean. It's fan made. It's not by John Romero or whatever. It's not made by the company who made Doom. Okay. I'm like, okay, you got Doom One, you got Doom Two, and then Doom Sixty Four. So where? Where's, where's Doom 3? I Did guess you it would be... The, the mod Sigil? Yes, I, I play Sigil, the official, oh unofficial, God. episode 5. That was amazing. It's 
Especially with the Buckethead soundtrack. Holy crap. Oh, Buckethead. He's awesome. But I always treated Doom 3 as a um, standalone survival action game. Uh, I guess we, I guess we won't have an official answer because John Carmack's not part of its software anymore. So mm -hmm. I mean, maybe he had a specific place in the timeline for it. He was gonna build on it. Never did. It's already been 20, 21 minutes. Um, do you want to skip this map? Talk to you, bro. Okay. Do what you need to do. Yeah, I'm gonna just gonna here go to quit.